Hi, good morning to everybody. My name is Leela Gayatri and I am going to discuss two chapters in pharmacology today. It's one is hereditary hypnotics and another one is broad spectrum antibiotics. Let's go into the chapter. First one, sedative hypnotics in pharmacology. Let's start with the introduction. Actually, we kept the mnemonics as zopine, pam, tone and lamp. What's meant by sedation? Actually, a sedative is a drug that reduces the excitement and calms down the sleep. And hypnotics. Hypnotics is resembling a normal sleep one. Sleep is classified into two types. Non-rapid eye movement sleep and rapid eye movement sleep. Non-rapid eye movement sleep is divided into stage 4. Stage 0, stage 1, stage 2 and 3 and 4. But in the condition of rapid eye movement sleep, it resembles every 3 times like that. Next, we go into the classification. Sedative hypnotics are classified into first one benzodiazepine, newer one barbiturates and miscellaneous. These are the classification of sedative hypnotics. Benzodiazepine. Benzodiazepine is classified into long, short and ultra short. Newer agents is classified into three types. Barbiturates into four and miscellaneous into four. First we go one by one. Next one, benzodiazepine. What is meant by benzodiazepine? It's actually a benzene ring combined with seven members of diazepine ring. This is the benzodiazepine drug common is. The size of actions are in midbrain and limbic system. Let's go into the mechanism. Actually, the mechanisms are benzodiazepine binds to the specific site and GABA receptors and increases the and then increases the frequency of open and chlorine channels. And then the increase in GABA communication and then leads to membrane hyperpolarization and leads to finally CNS depression. These are the common mechanism of benzodiazepine. Let's go into the classification of benzodiazepine. Benzodiazepine were classified into three types. Long duration, short duration and ultra short duration. In long duration we go into diazepam, clonazepam, PAM. As we start before uh, PAM, Tony, Clam like that diazepam clonazepam fluorazepam short tenazepam lorazepam oxazepam and then finally ultra short trazolam mirazolam lamb their main actions are they are also used in sedation sedative reducing anxiety muscle relaxants and also as an anticonvulsant the mainly anticonvulsants are used in drugs are diazepam lorazepam and chlorazepam their iv IV benzodiazepine are also used as a sedative. They are also used as analgesic and muscle relaxant. Uses of benzodiazepine are mainly used in insomnia, anxiety conditions and also in like labor, labor time. They used to decrease the respiratory, respiratory depression, hypotonia in new baby and finally the alcohol withdrawal. These are the actions, uses and finally adverse effects. Common adverse effects of benzodiazepines are first we start into drowsiness and then it comes to headache and weakness of body and blur vision finally. Next we go to the newer drugs. Newer drugs are classified into three as we further discussed before. Zolpidem, Z. It starts in Z. Zolpidem, Zopidone and Zeliprone. The, these are not important but fine uh, but it's a rapid and short acting. They are mainly absorbed from the gut and metabolized in liver. These are the newer drugs. Then we go into barbiturates. Barbiturates are a common one as a derivatives of barbituric acid. Their main sites of actions are first one is going to a non-selective sinus depression and reactive reticular mechanisms. As we discover discussed about benzodiazepine mechanism, like that the barbiturates mechanism also it binds to GABA receptors. And duration of chlorine is increased and then increase in GABA, GABA mediator and finally leads to CNS depression. The common one in benzodiazepine is a sedative hypnotics is it leads to CNS depression. Adverse effects of barbiturates are nausea, vomiting, it's common in everything, nausea, vomiting, mood swing and hypersensitive reactions like skin rashes, allergy, erythema, hitching like that common one. The uses are general anesthesia, anti-epileptic conditions and um, jaundice and also in pre anesthetic medication. 
in GA they are used as ultra short duration and also used for induction of general anesthesia these are the barbiturates and finally miscellaneous their classification are common as paraldehyde, glutamine, meprovan, chlorohydrate. In this four drugs, we can go into the chlorohydrate. They are alternative of benzodiazepine drug. Their adverse effects are common as nausea, vomiting. Meprovan is used as a sedative and respiratory in and also used as in respiratory depression and also used as at ataxia conditions. The third one is paraldehyde. Paraldehyde is a colorless one and also inflammatory liquid used mainly in rectally, intramuscular and intraorally. Used commonly in children's as an anticonvulsant drug uh, and also in hypnotic condition. It's a rare one. The second chapter about this topic is broad spectrum antibiotics. Broad spectrum antibiotics are classified into tetracycline and chloramphenicol. These are common topics tetracycline and chloramphenicol. Let's go into the tetracycline. Tetracycline is consist of four cyclic rings. It also inhibits the growth of microorganisms. Their mechanisms are actively first taken by the bacteria and bind reversibly to 3OS ribosomal and then finally prevents binding of amino acid and addition of amino acid is prevented finally leads to inhibits the bacterial protection tetracycline has four cyclic rings is commonly involved as a chemistry mechanisms next we go into the adverse effects adverse effects are common first we go by organ by organ uh, GAT. GAT is a gastrointestinal uh, uh, organ. It's involved into the <laughs> adverse effects of nausea, vomiting and diarrhea. Hepatotoxicity, it's led to for a finally jaundice and also renal failure. Renal failure, it's in, involved in renal toxicity, Fanconi syndrome and then vomiting and polyuria. Then phototoxicity. In phototoxicity, it involves in involved as sunburns and pigments of nail pigmentation of nails then bone bone actually the calcium is involved in this so it is used as a chelating agent so every patients every patients of teeth if you use the tetracycline the new infant in newborn babies or in the pregnant mothers the brownish discoloration of teeth leads to brownish if you use the tetracycline it leads to brownish discoloration so we cannot be any done Uses of uses of tetracycline are is they are used in rickets, chlamydial infections, and also pneumonia and cholera. They are used in dent dentistry. Let's go into dentistry. They are used in chronic periodontitis. Doxycycline is used in subgingival plaque, and also is used also in the treatment of acute necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis. In acute necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis, the combination is used tetracycline plus metronidazole. If you use this combination, the infections will be little smaller. Contraindications are also indicated in pregnancy and lactation because of mainly the teeth problems and the bone and any other complications. They are contraindicated in pregnancy and lactation time. Next we, next we go into the chlor chloramphenicol. Actually, the chloramphenicol is also another type of broad spectrum antibiotics their main or main microorganisms are derived from streptomyces venezuela actually it's comparatively it's only limited because of bone marrow suppression this is drug more that it leads to bone marrow suppression the mechanism of chloram pinnacle first it binds to like uh, actually tetracycline binds reversibly to 3 OS ribosomes but in chloramphenicol it binds reversibly to 5 OS ribosomal subunit then leads to formation of peptic bond and also inhibits protein synthesis. These are the mechanism of it actually finally leads to inhibition of protein synthesis chloramphenicol that's why its adverse effects are common. The resistance 
in addition to it its resistance caused by chloramphenicol leads to permeability of cell wall that leads to ribosomal mutation the adverse effects are common as gastrointestinal depressions bone marrow suppression gastrointestinal effects and also gray baby syndrome and hypersensitivity reactions like skin allergy rashes itching and also for, for any other complications will be affect, involved in the chloramphenicol the uses are typhoid fever anaerobic infections eye and ear infections rickets they are most commonly involved in rickets typhoid fever ba, uh, anaerobic infections eye and ear infections let's go into sub topic a small revision like that first we go into sedative hypnotics sedative hypnotics are nothing but it's a sedation it's a like a normal drug that excitements the sleep sleep is classified into two non rapid eye movement sleep and rapid eye movement sleep the classifications are benzodiazepine nuvo barbiturates and mesalinase benzodiazepine is further classified into benzodiazepine is further classified into wait Benzodiazepine is further classified into long, short, and ultra short. Long is going into diazepam, clozapam, and fluorazepam. Short is going into three types, and ultra short into two types. Newer one is three types: zolpidem, zopidone, and barbiturates are going into phenobarbitone, mefon, secobarbitone, and pentobarbitone. Mesalin is into paraldehyde, glutamate, and any other. These are the common. These are the uh, topics concerned. Benzodiazepine is discovered in 1961 and that actions adverse effects uses these are the common one to be involved in the pharmacology top topic like that this one next it's going to the broad spectrum antibiotics broad spectrum antibiotics are into divided into two tetracycline and chloramphenicol tetracycline has four cyclic rings their mechanism is inhibition of bacterial protein synthesis adverse effects are involved organ by organ git hepatotoxicity hepatotoxicity and um, re renal failure renal failure bone teeth and photosynthesis their use is in dental steak mainly also used in anak tetracycline plus combination of metronidazole these are the uses of tetracycline next we go into the chloramphenicol chloramphenicol mechanism is only inhibits the protein synthesis and also it causes ribosomal mutation adverse effects are hypersensitivity bone marrow suppression gi effects and gray baby syndrome their uses are typhoid fever anaerobia and rickets eye and ear infections these are the common things in, uh, to be involved in pharmacology thank you thank you for watching this one